All right, I just got off of a live with Tish from the Artist Haven, and we did some dirty pours on the coasters. And these turned out really, really cool. And I'm wondering if I could do it large scale. I, I'm digging this one big time. So I'm gonna give this a try. Who knows? Maybe I just end up with a pink tray. I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna, I mean, check this out. I mean, granted, this is the coolest one I think of the bunch, but still all of them look pretty cool. I like the color combination. So we're gonna give this a try. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, if we're doing another one of those pours where I'm getting close to the end of my working time here, <laughs> as you saw by the suction I built up, um, my resin. But I have got to work this through, and I've got a little time doing it. All right, so Tish Winter, uh, she has a channel called The Artist Haven, and her and I have been doing a show on Thursdays, which have been kind of fun. She's teaching me acrylic pouring. And then on the other, uh, the next week, I'll teach her some uh, resin. And then, you know, the next following week is acrylic pouring, et cetera, et cetera. And we're basically teaching each other techniques. Not necessarily uh, projects, but more like the techniques. So that way we can put the techniques together and create the look we want. And it's been a whole lot of fun because it takes the pressure off of each person for, you know, a week and they become, you know, the teacher and it's like whatever kind of uncomfortableness you've been feeling, you get a break the next week because you get to be the teacher and you get to apply the pressure, <laughs> so to speak. So, um, this week, uh, I did a dirty pour with Tish and I ended up coming up with a result that I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool. How can I recreate that big? And by big, I mean not a, you know, a coaster, but at least on the tray or something like that. And so that is what I'm going to work on today. And since I've got these colors already mixed up, I thought I'd give it a try. Now, resin does behave differently in small scale versus big scale. But I have been able to find that I can get um, big scale techniques to work small scale, but I haven't done the reverse. And so today, that's what I'm going to mess with. Well, that's seriously on the stupid side. <laughs> Let's see now. Get some fresh gloves here. So what I've got going on, let's see if I can run off the colors we used. Um, I've got Just Resin Titanium White, um, Color Passion, a Fluorescent Pink, Resin Art, my wild, the Wild Jasmine, you've seen me use that several times. Um, Just Resin Deep Purple, so it has a lot of contrast in there. And then I've got a Too Faced Chameleon in there as well. So. Pretty, pretty cool colors. So it's either going to be a very, very pink piece. Or we're going to end up with some drama. So let's hope for the drama. Because that's what I want. All right. I've got that pretty much covered. Close end to end. Let me move you guys over a little bit. And... Do my traditional cup and pour here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, but Tish's, or that last one that I liked, I started off with a dark color. Let's see if I remember the sequence. That's my dark purple, wall jasmine, the fluorescent. Uh, chameleon, and I think it's Mother Knows Best on the Chameleon, and then Titanium White, and you can barely see those. Okay, 
but I also did little layers. So in other words, I didn't dump in all the color at one time. This is gonna be tricky because it's really thick right now. So if you're ever looking at doing lines with resin, this is a good time to do it because of it being so thick. Because you can really hold a long, thin line for quite some time. Okay, stop dripping, thank you. There's a little bit more white there. I don't think I mixed up my white. Okay, that's good. I already had white in here and I added some clear to make more white, so I'm not worried about that little bit of clear. All right, and if I remember right, I went back down. Through the colors again. I'm just going to keep going through this until I get this cup pretty much. Well, I shouldn't say the cup full, but more than enough for this pour. got a text from hubby and he's bringing home some lunch yay nice surprise It sure is helpful to put the cups in order of the colors you want to, um, or I should say the colors in order of how you want to pour them into the cup. It helps you with when you get lost track in time and you're doing a whole bunch of layers like this. It's like, what color's next? Oh yeah. And I really got this tray messed up too. I might need to throw an extra parchment sheet of paper down. So I use parchment paper in my trays for a couple different reasons. One, they clean up super, super easy. The other one is if I get messy on it and I'm worried about it transferring to my tray, I just get it on another sheet of paper and lay it down on top. And so I can move at a moment's notice to do what I need to do. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the dark purple in here because I really want some contrast. Pouring. All right. Let me do one more layer here. I'll go ahead and put these to the side after I'm done with this next layer here. But the wild jasmine and the neon next to each other really glowed. So the two blending in, uh, they blended well together, I should say. I'm gonna end it with a white this time. So definitely don't want to use up my white. Okay, that's done. <laughs> I think I have a mess here. All 
Oh, a trick. If you've got a cup for resin and it's all sticky and stuff, put your stick next to the side, make good contact with it, and then make sure it's making contact with the bottom. And you can peel this stuff out super easy uh, when it's cured up. And it makes it for quick, easy cleanup. And there's a lot of cleanup when it comes to resin. So the easier bits, the better. The other one is if you can walk away from your area and let it cure sometimes and you've got your area set up with um, material down that peels up easy by waiting for it to cure before you come back to it the next day, it'll make it super easy for the cleanup. All right. And since I want to make sure this tray stays nice and clean on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down another parchment paper because of all of that right there. I don't normally do that, but since those cups have been well used, uh oh, here it goes. I think I need a few. Feed my dragon here. I'm getting low on the fuel. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this here. Okay, I'm trying to remember how I poured it. I think it was a C. Okay. Or nice and steady. And I don't think I put enough in my cup. Okay. All right. This is what I'm going to do here. Think, 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 think. Pouring what I have remaining of my deep purple. Now the other thing I did do with my coaster is because I had enough material going down on the coaster, I didn't need to tilt it. So that's going to be another tricky part is how do I do that with this when I'm used to tilting them around in a circle? So I'm thinking while I'm doing this here. <laughs> Let's see. This is the rest of the wild jasmine. Now I wanna get my colors in here before I start tilting so that way they move as a whole and they incorporate well together. If I add them afterwards, it ends up looking more like a line. Get off the stick. And this is that neon pink. We'll just put that right in the middle. This is looking really, really pretty already. I'm gonna blow the purple and the pink a little bit just to get it to incorporate a little bit more. Hi, 
kind of experimenting a little bit here. up with a big white dot okay And when you're using a torch with resin, you got to be very mindful of overheating. Once you start to see any kind of smoke, back off quick. All right. Thanks. Does not take much. Okay. That area is heated up really well. I'm going to heat this up and try to start tilting it slightly left and right. See if I can get this thing covered up. resin is getting up there on the working time so yeah see how that's really fluid okay I'm gonna pause right now I'm gonna let this cool off and come back to it so it can all be the same temperature and flow together because this is super super hot versus this may be warm and so when I tilt it this one's to go wee and I don't want this to roll over this because I got some interesting things going on here and I'm hoping to, to salvage some of it. So I'm gonna pause and let this cool off. Okay. <laughs> you should see what is going on with this thing right here. Wow. Okay. So already super happy. Um, and it seems to have cooled off. It all seems to be moving about the same rate. So that's what I'm looking for. And we're going to try again with the warming up. But this time we're warming up all of it. And I'm just heating up the colored area. So that way it will glide over the clear. At least in theory. Uh, hopefully it'll be happy with me today. So I'm not going to do what I normally do, which is touch the sides and then spin it. Might be a little bit of rotation here, but it... Just to get this contact well made only because it's so close. Okay, but I don't want to start pivot. you know, I don't want it to start doing a spin thing. I just want to rock it back and forth until we get all sides connected. Let me know in the descriptions below whether or not you like seeing the tilts in real time or it sped up because sometimes like getting this to there can take some time or you see the whole thing kind of shifting almost like a big wave coming down so the bulk of the resin is shifting and it's getting thicker and thicker down here but it also brings the color with it which is seriously on the cool side. All right, doesn't seem like my purple is moving. Thank you. 
that bottom area to move a little bit faster than the top. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it touch here and then just very slightly rotate it. Now, if this were a canvas, you'd just be, you know, going over the edge. And there's gonna be a slight rotation here and I'm okay with that for right now. Excuse me. All right. Try and center it back a little bit. I'm gonna come down this area here. Come on, gravity work. Come on, touch right there. Just, just okay. All right. Now, all of this, if I left it like this, and even with wood showing through, everything has a coating of resin, and it's going to want to self-level. So keep that in mind. So right now I'm just trying to get color going to edge to edge here. So I'm going to shift down to this bottom part here. And hopefully it will do it. Well, this is a matter of patience, isn't it? Okay. I'm seeing some areas move a little bit faster than others. I won't do too much heating because I might make my cells disappear. Colors coming down, yay! A little bit of spin. Okay, bring it back. There is so much going on right here. All right, now we got to get down here. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm gonna uh, add some white right at the end. And I'm thinking, you may not have to. It's like, it seems to go so slow and then all of a sudden it's like, it seems like everything's sped up kind of deal. And you have to move with haste. We're getting there, almost. Yes! And we have touched down, yay! Okay, so yeah, I got this almost at a 90 degree angle. Just to get some things to shuffle down where I want it. Okay. And I'm happy with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is, you see how the white has really settled out nicely? I'm going to run another thick line kind of going through this and heat it and see if I can blow it over and get some, some dramatic cells. So that is the plan.
This is the time if you want to draw like metallic lines because you can get a long line like that. Okay. I'm going kind of at an angle. Not quite doing a torch and tail, but basically the same premise. And I got a little blob of white on my hands. And I don't want to transfer to my tray. Okay. Now we're doing more of a torch and tail. Boop, boop. Yeah, I got messed up somewhere. There we go. Go. I have vaulted ceilings and I'm going to do this and then leave it. <laughs> okay. Is that it for now? I'm thinking so. I got some here that didn't quite make it down here. I'm just trying to get it to get incorporated a little bit more so it's a little bit less of a uh, dramatic clear area just by stippling it. Since this is almost a pretty much a solid purple. In fact, I got some purple over here that I will use and add to it. I am happy with that and I will have to babysit this a little bit because I did a lot of manipulation which means there's gonna be bubbles coming up but this area in here which you probably can't see on camera right now uh, it looks really cool all right it is time to bring you in all right you guys ready there's a lot of details in this all right zoom time zoom. All right, here's that purple area I was talking about. A lot going on, a lot of subtle stuff. Very, very cool. It's like almost a lot. Of, I love that. That's neat. The deep purple has a nice little metallic sheen to it. This is going to have a lot of depth. See there, that's that chameleon popping through. It gives that a little, almost a clear shimmer. Didn't want this to be so bananas, but I did want some. And that's what I got. I like the little ribbon in there. Even though it's subtle, I like subtle too. I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's all cured up. Wow, right there. All right. There we go. All right, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. And check in the links to, in the description below because there's links for Artists Till Death, where I get all my colors from, as well as a coupon link for that. And links to my Etsy store because you need to buy all the stuff. 
especially with Christmas coming around. And any supplies or colors you're interested in, uh, well, I shouldn't say colors you're interested in, any supplies that I use you're, that you're wondering about, I've got links for those as well. And colors are always put at the end of the video as far as photos wise. Well, I guess this is at the very, very end, so not quite at the ending. Back it up a little bit if you wanna see the colors. All right.